and the insurance doesn't cover what we need to defeat it. And even if it does, we may die from the treatment. What up, or not so different brand fam? Hey, 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 it's your boy Tyler, man, and I'm back with another one, baby. So y'all know I'm a big, huge Tom McDonald fan, and he just dropped a new hit, baby, Cancer. Now on his record, um, the albums that I bought, it says F Cancer, but I'm assuming, you know, YouTube restrictions and all that other stuff that, you know, we went with Cancer, which, hey, Tom, I give it up to you, brother. It's good thinking, man, because I wouldn't even have thought of that. You know what I mean? I'd have been like up church and put F them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's good shit, man. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this, and um, we're ready to jump right into it, man. I cannot wait for y'all to hear this, man. Dude, this song is so deep. Um, my grandmother, my great-grandmother actually died from cancer, so this really hits home for me. But uh, here we go, man. Let's jump into it. Ooh, let's go. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Everybody knows someone who's sick. 40% will get cancer, only half's gonna live. Your mom and your dad and your sister stand inside a room, and someone won't survive it. Do you hope it isn't you? Mm, you hear that, man? Your mom, your fucking sister, and you stand in a room, and one of y'all is gonna die. Could you choose it not to be you? Like, phew, ooh, that right there, man. Like, I know for me, myself personally, um... I would rather die, you know what I mean? But I'm, I, I was the only man in my, like growing up, it was my mom, myself, and my sister. And then I had my grandmother, which is her mom. Um, I didn't never really have a grandpa. My great grandparents were married couple for 50 years. And um, they actually stayed together the whole time. But when they passed away, it was just my grandma, my mom, me and my sister. I was the only man, you know, so I had to be the man of the house and stuff. So, yes, I would definitely choose myself. Um, but just how deep the words in the song is, man. Like, I want you all to hear this, man. Literally open your ears. Because this song has a very big meaning, man. Especially to myself. And a lot of other people can relate to this, I know. But I love the setting of the doctor's office. The whole family's very happy. Um, you got the dad, the mom, and the daughter. And um, they're about to get the news. I swear that cancer has a cure, but they're refusing to make it. They've done like 40 years of research, 90 billion in donations. You know what I'm saying? He swear cancer has a cure, but they're, 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 they're not wanting to make it. Because think about how much money that the government brings in on, on the cure of cancer. How much that's funded. You know what I mean? And if you was to find a cure, say for like AIDS, for instance. Look at, you know... Magic Johnson and other people that have been cured from AIDS, but there, yet there's no cure. Because the money that's funded for this is so much more. You know, think about it, man. It's something to put your mind around, dude. It's crazy. I love his just, just everything, dude. So we've been running for the cure and wearing ribbons for ages. Why are people still going through radiation? It's crazy. Mm, and, and I love how he bleeped it out so it's for everybody. Because it is effing crazy. Um... And think about it, man. We do run for the cure, you know. We do all these things to help promote it. But yet, they probably have a cure and they're not releasing it to the public and they let us go through radiation and all kinds of other crazy stuff. You know, and it's not fair to the people, man. It's really not. I love how Tom this this I do. $100 billion industry, they can't afford to end it And nobody wants to die, our only option is to spend it We'd give anything to stick around for just another second Give a fortune to the doctors who promise they can extend it Come on, man And then just look, just the look on this girl's face Of just like, dude, like just dying inside You know what I mean? Because she knows She knows her reality is now hit And she knows what's coming, what's ahead and just the look on their faces, and they're just like, dude, like, this is no. Like, what are we going to do? You know what I mean? The profits are astronomic. The hospitals and the clinics are filling coffins with dollars. It's awful. Let's just admit it. We're all human. We'll keep fighting because it's how we survive. But it's scary because we don't know where we'll go when we die. Come on, man. Come on. I love that, man. Mm, I'm getting chills just thinking about it, boy. Because you got to think, like, <laughs> we put hella money into this. And yet, 
really, what is the cure? To sit there and go through radiation and, and to literally, I mean, I've never been through it myself, but I've seen people go through it and it literally, it breaks them down as a person. I mean, the weight loss, the just everything, man, you can see it's just such a very physical, painful looking experience, you know, and, and just to think about that, man, like, this song is just deep, dude, like super deep, man. Goodness, and I love this hook that's coming up. I love that right there, how she's starting to shave her head. Like, all right, let's let's do it, man. I'm ready to jump in. I know what's coming, and let's rock it. I'm going to I'm going to put forth with all the most effort that I have to make this successful. And just her look now that, you know, that knowing it everything's going to be all right, you know, and, and I love that he put that in there. And he's telling people, man, if you have cancer, have heart, stand up for yourself. And stride through that pain because as long as you fight, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Nothing matters if you don't have your health. All the money in the world doesn't help. The good might go to heaven and the bad might go to hell. But no one wants to leave here, you can tell. Mm, no one. And think about it, man. And a lot of us, you know, thank God that I believe in God today. But before, I was afraid to die. You know, because I didn't know where I was going to go and I didn't know if that would be it. You know, and a lot of people are still like that. They're at that kind of time in their life when they don't really know what to believe. You know, they've been shown so much and it's like, man, what do I believe? You know, and for those people, just imagine how hard that would be, you know, especially finding out that you have cancer. But not only that you have cancer, but say it's stage three or stage four and, you, and, and you're that close knocking on death's door, you know. And cancer touches everyone, it's in our genetics And our world's become so toxic, it's all carcinogenic We polluted the water, the air, the food we're ingesting Is full of hormones and poison, our population's infected And think about it, he's talking about all the shit That they've been doing with our food I mean, it's everything in the world, you know what I mean? The, you could be talking about, I mean, because Tom is one of them he looks at any conspiracy. I mean, fucking robo fucking spiders and, and, and flies on the wall that got cameras. You know what I mean? You never know. You know what I mean? But he's very open-minded to all the conspiracy going on. And I love that about him because I'm the same way. You know what I mean? I, I could consider radioactive spiders and all the other types of crazy shit just because that's the way I am. I'm very open-minded to a lot of things. You know? And I love how he puts that in there, man. Because... You never know, man. You know what I mean? Just to and, and just to have faith and really step out on that and to really stride in the fact that I'm gonna be all right and no matter what, no matter where I go, I'm gonna go with pride. You know what I mean? Sell us cigarettes and liquor, built a business on addictions. You know what I mean? And that's the truth, bro. Sell us cigarettes and liquor. They build Hang on, let me let them finish. Let me run it back. Poison, our population's infected. They sell us cigarettes and liquor. Built a business on addictions. We've been paying them to kill ourselves. We're dying to keep living. You hear that? We've been paying them to kill ourselves. We're dying to be lit or to stay living. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. And they do. They make money off of this stuff. Bro, like he's just pointing out the facts. You know what I mean? The flaws in our government system. And it's the system, it's a prison, we keep trying to beat it We get cancer from keeping all of our demons a secret And right. our insurance don't cover the things we need to defeat it And even if it does, then we might die from the treatment And the insurance doesn't cover what we need to defeat it And even if it does, we may die from the treatment Bro This shit's deep, man Real deep I love this song, man I wonder what his next video is gonna be True. Our best defense is living like we do not know what cancer is. Fight it if you have it and pray that there's something after this. Fight it if you have it and pray that there's something after this. True. 
And that hook just grabs you. I mean, it literally just, hey, come here. <laughs> it grabs you and, 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 and you can really resonate with it because it's all factual and it's a true feeling that a lot of us people feel. Especially having loved ones that went through cancer or that went through similar situations, you know, and there was no stopping whatever it was and that was the fate. This deep, bro. <laughs> You won't know how to be brave when you cho until you choose to fight when you're afraid. This, bro, this everything, man. Oh my God! And look at this girl right now. Look at her. She's sitting there and she's got her knee propped up and she's just like, man, like this sucks. You know, this really sucks. Am I gonna make it through this? You know, like what did I do to the world? To deserve something like this, you know, I, I know a lot of people that have gotten cancer and, and, and stopped believing in God because they thought, you know, how could you do this to me? It's sad, man. And you can experience strength till you struggle to carry the weight. You can't experience strength until you struggle to carry the weight. Think of the meaning behind that, dude. God, fire, bro. Tom, bro. Tom. Love it, man. Love it. And you won't know why you have faith till you look the devil in his face. And you won't know how to have faith until you look the devil in his face. And you, you know what I mean? Just think about that. The meaning, dude. Oh my God, dude. You're just drowned in emotions with this song. There's no way out. You know what I mean? You have to feel these emotions. You're drowned in them. And I love the way Tom portrays that into this. Dude, I, I just look. I fucking love it, dude. Mm. And you don't know what you can say till you realize you didn't break. Don't give up, I know you're strong. Show them all your fire. The days are hard, the nights are long. But you're a fighter when it's dire. You're a brighter in the dark. And I also love Tom's expressions. When you see him singing this hook, it's all just, ooh, it's like it's coming from his soul. He's, you know what I mean? And he, he, you can just see the emotion on his face. Like, look, he wants you to fight. You know, he wants you to fight. Do not give up. Don't let this world consume you and fight. Because you never know what you're capable of until you fight. And he tells you that right in the song. I love it, man. Then his looks. How he looks down like that at the very end. Like, you know, like, just, ooh, man. That gives me cold chills. I'm sitting here smoking a cigarette. My dumbass. Zoom in on this. My dumbass is smoking a cigarette. I'll never learn. Never learn. But I love that, man. I love the way Tom expressed himself in that. And, and I love the way the raw emotion was into the music. You can actually feel it yourself. Like when you're actually sitting here watching this, you get that feeling of, of just that overwhelming feeling of just wanting to help. You know, wanting to stand up for somebody that does have cancer when they're not standing up for their self. And I love that. I love how that's portrayed in this song. But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Got plenty more to come where this came from. Um, still in film school, man. I hope you guys enjoy the look of this one a lot better than it was before. And um, we're going to keep trying to get better as we go on, man. I appreciate you guys. If you guys got any more songs that you want to hear, anything you want to recommend, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be glad to check them out. And like I say, man, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell. Be part of the notification. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Let's get it, baby. <laughs> Anyways, though, man, I love you guys. Peace, love, chicken grease. Have fun this weekend. Bye-bye oh, now.